Hey everyone, this is Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, we are gonna create this video game design in Affinity Designer. Let's go. All right, for those of you new to the channel, my name is Juno, I'm a graphic designer and online t-shirt seller. My channel is all about helping you design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you're interested in, then feel free to subscribe to see more content like that. And let me know in the comments what other types of videos you like to see. So let's get started on this. Um, we're going to build this here. I'm in Affinity Designer. Um, and we're going to build all of this in Affinity Designer. So I know it looks like a lot. Um, we're going to take it step by step. We're going to build this part of the component first. Um, this video game controller. And we're going to learn some techniques on how I do it. Uh, and hopefully some t you'll learn some things some tricks here. The first thing we're going to do is make some circles. So we're just going to do circles. I'm using um, a two-point stroke. Oh, let me go two-point up here. You'll see the stroke size. Um, I'm going to try and match it here just so that we have the same size. Um, so you can hold down shift. Um, if they're not a perfect circle, you can see I, I think I slipped here. Um, you can make this four and four here and that way it's a perfect circle um, and then you can hold down shift and when you hold down shift you can see it constrains it to be the same width and height you know it's keeping the same constraints the same ratio so I'm gonna just copy that there okay so we're gonna need two of them right one on each side okay the next thing we're gonna do is just a um, rectangle here in between both. It's a little um, lighter. Let's put the put this in the back. Um, these should have a fill of white so that it's not showing through just for now. I'll show you how to knock that out. Um, and then let's just you know make it a little higher like that. And I believe this is a little closer. So let's let's just check where we're at here. Yep, that's good. So we got those two done. Um, now we're going to use the rounded rectangle here. You can see it's rounded. The corner is 25%. You can change that, but I like I like 25%. So let's just go back to that for this one. Um, and let's just make it the right size. We'll put it behind again. I'm using that um, kind of a layers thing here. Um, Clicking this moves to back. You can see up there, this is back one, forward one, and move front forward. So it's all the way in the back. You can see this is kind of the paddles. Um, we're going to use the same here and also in the middle here. So this is in the back. Um, oops, we didn't put a fill on this one, so that's why it looks like that. Let's just put a fill here. And you can see how that's turning out. Pretty easy, right? So far, so good. We're going to use our pen tool and just make a nice two-point stroke there um, uh, I think that was a little long I'm just eyeballing it for now and we can do two like that right wow we're moving right along okay so next thing we do is let's use that um, round rectangle again let's change the corner radius until it's like almost a circle you see that right there we're gonna turn this on its angle here like this um, and make this in the back again now that's not quite the same as this. I think what I did was I um, kind of moved it in a little and then I converted this to curves so that I can use the pen tool. So I converted it to curves, use my white um, arrow tool here and I'm gonna move these out just a little bit. You can see where I'm grabbing the points a little bit and then uh, grab these arrows, kind of just pull them down um, these curves here just so it's, it's curvy like that there see that that wasn't too bad um, move this a little bit there we go so um, got that and then what I do is I hold down option shift drag that's copying it keeping it on the same level and then I'm gonna rotate this flip horizontal boom it's another one alright so all we're missing is these now these controllers 
So let's do that. You can probably figured out that it is this round rectangle tool here. Um, let's go in maybe 15, 20, uh, I don't know, 18, 17? That looks about right. Okay, so we got that one in the middle here. Um, let's pull it down. Let's give us some space. Yeah, that looks about right. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy that. So Command C and then V for putting it in the front, and then we'll take that front one and we'll turn it 90 degrees. So now that we have both of these, we're going to combine them here with the Add tool. Bam. Ooh, that doesn't look exactly right. I'm going to let's make it a little thinner. Uh, let's get rid of that. I think it was too wide, so let's. I really should measure. Let's let's just measure because I got it right. There we go. Yeah, that's about right. Wow, I, I pulled that right. Okay, um, let's do that again. Command C, Command V. Take the top one, switch it. Grab both. Add. Boom. Oh, that's that's looking good. All right, kind of fit it in there. We're gonna fit both here. So the circles are pretty easy. They're just circles. Um, and oh, you know what I did? I made the stroke a little lighter. I think that's why how it fit. 1.5, let's do that. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Let's, let's just do the 1.5 stroke. Yeah, that's that feels better, doesn't it? I don't know. Um, so the... I made it a 1.5 just so we can fit some of these things in. So the circles are 1.52. Um, I'm using the color. This, I'm going to use the eye drop just so we get the right color here. Boom. All right. There we go. Oops. <laughs> holding down shift, I drag it. Um, holding down option, I drag it. Um, drag, so... Option shift to drag it on making sure that it's at the same level. Just option to copy, shift to make sure that it doesn't move. So option, so you can move it all around. But if I did option shift, then it stays on the same horizontal plane, right? All right. Cool, cool. That's kind of close to that. All right, so the next one I'm going to do is put these. These are a little more tricky. So those are squares. So we're just going to do squares here. But there are squares with a um, with a point. So what we're going to do is we'll make the squares here like that. Uh, make sure my stroke is 1.5. That's true. Um, and we're going to convert this to curves again so that I can use my pen tool. And I'm going to put a um, point right here. I'm using just that arrow, um, a white arrow or the node tool. You see I clicked right here in the middle. Now I can just drag it. See that? Because I added a point. So, um, yeah, let me just kind of drag it up and down. Holding Shift and Option again. I'm going to flip it this way, right? And then holding Option. And then I'm going to just turn it 90 degrees. Boom. Um, and then here, I'll flip it again. Boom. So kind of move it in, right? Eyeballing it. That's it. See that? We made it. Not exactly the same, but it's it's pretty close, right? Maybe I made this a little fatter. Maybe the buttons are a little wider, but you get the idea. We got it. So um, the next thing we did was I had a um, plug coming out of here. Make sure that's two points. So the reason why we're using the same width on most of it is just so it, it feels balanced. And I made these inside of the circles just uh, a width, just a little width smaller, so 1.5, so that they just feel better, right? Okay, so now how did I get this? Well, all I did was I took the whole thing, um, group it, and then I turned it, and I turned it 10 degrees. So you can see right here, you can either rotate it by just turning it like this and it will say the degrees up there. You see how that's showing? So I can just do 10 or um, if you're more comfortable hitting the 10 degrees here, 
and you can just type in 10 and it will do it. All right, next, um, how do we get this background here? Well, same thing. If we just do a um, square background, get rid of the outline here, and then we turn this at a 10 degrees, so 10, you see how that works? But then you're saying, well, that's great. That line right here is 10 degrees because that matches, but this line straight, how did you do that? Well, um, here are the slant, so the R is rotate, S is slant. You type in negative 10 to kind of offset it, and you see it's slanted negative 10, so it looks straight now. So we'll just put this in the back, um, and we're going to match this line right here, and then we're going to just go like that. Cool, and that? Okay, so we're going to put another one here. Boom. Um, this line came down to this, kind of give that illusion that they're all one line. And then, boom. Oh, whoops, I missed it. This line right here. There, that's the illusion we're going for. Okay, so you may be asking, well, how, do you, how did you do the round corners? Then? Well, you can do the same thing with the round uh, corner rectangle see here there's the round corner rectangle remember we can change that to make it a little less so let's do a little less I believe I went to 15 that kind of looked right um, yeah why not okay so we're gonna do that same 10 and negative 10 right boom um, and so we're just gonna lay that on here just kind of give the illusion that it's the same one because it's going to be the same color. Put this in the back too. Um, make sure this is above like that, right? And if you zoom in here, you can make make sure that they're the same. Oh, don't, not move that one. Let's move this one. All right. Oh. And just there now if they're the same color you think they're the same let's just make it that color boom huh pretty neat huh uh, and then we can move this up if that's where it was nice move this up make sure that it doesn't interfere okay so then we take this color um, I believe we got that orange right and we got this red here. Um, so let's just take that same one here. Um, and I think it's like that. Move this down. Boom, make sure that one's red. Boom. Huh? Pretty cool, one, right? All right, so then how about this text? What are we doing with the text? Well, the text I'm using is. Let's just write that level first. Um, let's go to my fonts here. Um, I'm using some of my favorite fonts, so you can see all my favorites if you want to snapshot this. Um, oh, it's at the bottom, you can't see it, but it's called Valken. Um, there's other rounded fonts like this, but uh, that's the one I'm using. So, same thing. We're gonna do the same treatment for rotate and slant on here. 10, negative 10. Okay. And then because we're an illustrator and this is vector, we can just pull it up. Make sure it's the right size. Boom. Um, spell out unlocked. Or whatever you want. Complete, I think I did on one of them. 40. Guys, that's it. Look how fast. We did it. The whole thing, we built it. Um, of course, if you want to cut this out, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be all the way. Just right there. Boom. How was that, guys? Pretty quick, right? And then, of course, you can just reverse it and do it for black. But that's it, guys. That was a quick way to do that. Um, if I went too fast for you, you can slow it down in the video. I know I, I maybe went kind of fast, but 
the things we learned about here are how to use the round rectangle, right? That round rectangle tool. We learned about um, front and back, throwing things in the front and back, rotate. Remember we did that, or flipping it horizontally. Um, what else did we learn here? This colors. Uh, we learned about rotate here and slant here. So a lot of good things that this Affinity Designer can do for you. Um, I like using it. It's very similar to Illustrator. Um, yeah, if there's other things that you want to learn, any other tools here, just message me in the in the comments, and we'll we'll learn together. You can see there's a whole bunch of other tools we didn't even touch in here, so um, we can learn about those and how to make T-shirts. So that's it. That is it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I really hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also leave a comment with any questions you may have or if you have any idea for a video that, I, that you want me to do in the future. Um, until next time, guys, keep creating and keep learning. Bye.